Welcome to the Alexa Prize Social Bot Grand Challenge 4. The Alexa Prize is a competition, a grand challenge in conversational AI. The goal of the Alexa Prize is to make transformative advances in conversational AI that brings together the best in industry, scalable access to customers, engineering excellence, and the best of academia. What makes Alexa Prize unique is that for the first time, students who are at universities had the ability to do and test their research on large-scale data and get very fast feedback. This access to millions and millions of users who are willing to give you feedback is truly unique. There is simply no other platform anywhere in the world that gives researchers direct access at this scale where they can develop their algorithms, put it out into a system, giving them feedback, learning from that feedback, improving their algorithms. For the teams, they get to see how conversational AI works in the real world and how to improve it to make it even more useful in the real world. The Alexa Prize this year is particularly special to us. This year was extremely hard because we were dealing with a global pandemic. Despite the fact that all of us are working remotely. I'm particularly impressed by the resilience and the commitment of these teams and the way they're testing out their new ideas. All of this has been over virtual conferencing. We're excited that we both have repeat teams, but we also have a bunch of new entrants. There is excitement, not just about competing with each other, but about learning from each other. I think they have been extremely collaborative and they have found a way to work together to make progress where every company, every institution, every school has struggled to learn and make progress. Kudos to the team. I don't know how they pulled it out. As a new entrant team, we think we have done a decent job of advancing the research in conversational AI. We've introduced some novel features that push the state of the art in conversational AI. We gradually transition towards using neural generators more because they allow our bot to be more flexible in its responses, which makes conversations feel more natural and less scripted. People have fun when they talk to our bot, people enjoying the conversations they're having. Getting regular feedback from real users was probably the most rewarding part of the project. Having access to all that data has been great because it helped us understand what makes a meaningful conversation and what are the steps that we need to take to get there. Having so much regular feedback has really allowed us to create a better social bot than we could have had if we were the only ones testing our own system. Alexa? Let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize Social Bot Grand Challenge 4, Grand Finale. Here's one of the finalists. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize Social Bot. I want to thank you for taking out time to talk to me. I hope this will be a memorable experience for both of us. So, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you for asking. That's nice. Well, I have a feeling we can become good friends. Let's get to know each other a bit better. Well, Watching a good movie with my friends helps me relax after a long day of hard work. Do you enjoy watching movies to unwind? I love watching movies, yes. I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's my favorite superhero franchise. Anyways, that is awesome. I really enjoyed the storyline. I think it was a well-written script. Which scene did you enjoy the most? What movie are we talking about? The movie about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I really enjoyed it. It was a great movie. The storyline was well written. The dialogue was well written. The characters were well written. The storyline was well written. Reiterating my previous comment, I think it was a well written script. Which scene did you enjoy the most? I really liked the scene where everyone lives at the end. That scene was great. I thought it was the best part of the movie. Building a dialogue agent is a huge engineering effort. One of our biggest challenges was balancing the engineering with the science. An effective social bot has to understand what the user says and then reason about it in order to come up with meaningful responses. Although our last year's Emra won the first place at this competition, 
we were not satisfied with our approach. Our current framework is entirely logic-based, as it performs probabilistic reasoning to make an implicit interpretation of the dialogue context. Emra has relatively hard-coded interactions, so I'd say the most rewarding part of the project has been seeing users actually hit interactions that you helped to create. Actually, I was wondering if you are interested in AI or artificial intelligence? I am interested in AI. Honestly, I like to just think about how AI works. I am a virtual chatbot, but even I don't understand that much of how AI works myself. Yes, I like to think about ethics and responsibility. A lot of people think the problem with current AI is that it's just mimicking real intelligence, and they say that is not the correct path to true general intelligence. Would you agree with that? I think there's lots of perspectives on the topic. I loved the show Westworld, and it had a great answer to whether mimicking intelligence is good enough. A character said, if you can't tell the difference, does it really matter? When we set out the social bot challenge, we were very clear that we wanted it to be very open domain, as in the social bot should be able to converse on many different topics and not be constrained. And to me, as a researcher, what would get me the most satisfaction, even if it fails or to understand a certain topic on the first shot, is that it's able to acquire knowledge on that topic very quickly. The ability to acquire knowledge on demand is what we as humans do very well. And I think that's the bar that the artificial intelligence should aspire to. Our team has been participating in Alexa Surprise since the first challenge in 2016. The most rewarding part of this project is the fact that we can interact with so many customers. This pushes us to develop new and innovative approaches. Just to see that people are interacting with what you built is rewarding and it is an engine that allows us to come up with better and better things. Hi, this is an Alexa Surprise social bot. Nice to talk to you again, Deborah. It's you, right? Yes, it is. What a faithful chatmate you are. How is it going, Deborah? Very good, thank you. Deborah, I'm trying to learn more about the places people grow up and live in because it is a fascinating aspect of human existence. I'm just curious. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Buffalo, New York. Hmm, Buffalo. Did you enjoy growing up there? Not really. It's cold there. I'm sorry you didn't like it there. So, I gotta ask, do you mind talking about the pandemic? No, I don't mind. Alrighty then. To start on more of a positive note, is there something the past year has given you? Something valuable you learned? Yes, I, I learned to uh, listen to books on tape, audiobooks. Hmm, there's a silver lining to every cloud, huh? Yeah. I've heard some people have been exceptionally productive and have taken on multiple new hobbies. What about you? Have you discovered a new passion of yours? I started playing piano again. Oh, you started playing piano again. That's cool. Let's talk about music then. Why is it important to interact with so many different users in advancing conversational AI? As customers have interacted with conversational AI for a few years now, the manner of engagement has also evolved. Customers expect more from the AI. They expect the AI to respond to them more naturally. Every human will follow their own trajectory in a conversation. And what we have to learn from this massive set of conversational experiences is what is common to these things in terms of a learning challenge. Because humans are fundamentally unpredictable. So as we interact with a lot of different users, we start understanding, A, what are the different ways in which people interact with conversational AI and AI more generally? And B, what are the different kinds of attributes that make a conversation more engaging? We've been in first place um, most of the competition. Um, that was like an aha moment, is just kind of seeing how it really all comes together. Really, you know, opened my eyes as to seeing what it's like to actually work on a live system, what it's like to contribute to a system that people are actually using. Seeing kind of the improvements made makes a difference and being able to see the conversation flow in the, the way that you're expecting it, or maybe even in a better way than you have expected. Okay, got it. Have you been going out to do things recently? Yes, I've been out quite a bit more recently. Cool. What have you been out doing? I went to a wedding. 
that was fun. Oh, I see. While I don't get to go out myself, I can understand it must be nice to just go outside and do anything. This past year sure has been weird. Have you been working from home recently? I have worked from home. It's been tough. I've always wanted to go on a vacation and to travel. What's a place you've always wanted to visit? Well, I've always wanted to visit Iceland. I've heard that it's very nice there. For me, I think the Great Wall of China is at the top of my list of travel destinations. It seems like it would be amazing to walk along it. So, is there a specific reason why you want to go to Iceland? Mostly because I haven't been there and because it looks like a lot of outdoor activities. Nice. Hey, I'm curious, did you go on family vacations as a kid? One of the key attributes of the Alexa Prize is that we're creating a global community of researchers who are all interested in advancing conversational AI. We've had hundreds of students participate as part of the Alexa Prize teams over the last four years. These are students from across the world, from some of the top universities. What I'm really looking forward to is to see one of the finalists achieve the grand challenge reach that 20 minute long coherent conversation that users find extremely satisfying. I believe it will unleash the next round of even more aspirational research in conversational AI. The most challenging part of this project is definitely the unexpected behavior from our users. To create a great user experience, we took the latest advances in neural modeling. We really depend a lot on neural generation and getting neurally generated outputs. So that like when our bot encounter the unexpected behavior from the user, it has a better chance to handle it properly. Which will you know, create more interesting conversations, but you know, we are taking a risk here. Alexa, let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize Social Bot Grand Challenge 4, Grand Finale. Here's one of the finalists. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize Social Bot. I believe we may have met before. Are you Paul? Yeah. It's great to talk to you again today, Paul. I enjoyed your company very much the last time we chatted. I hope you're having a lovely afternoon. It seems that a lot of people found the quarantine lonely, and other people can't get enough space away from their families or roommates. Now that we're over that hill and things are opening up, what's it been like for you? Starting to do a lot more walks. I love walks on trails in the mountains. They're so relaxing and quiet. Anyway, I suppose people experience the quarantine in many different ways. What a unique time we're living through. Well, do you want to hear about my favorite movie instead? Yeah. My favorite movie is actually Big Hero 6. Because I really love Baymax, which is the robot in Big Hero 6 that just loves to help people. Can I tell you my favorite part about Baymax? Do you like Astro Boy? Thanks for asking. I love Astro Boy. I think I've seen every single one of them. What's your favorite part? My favorite part is when the robots are fighting. I can't believe it's been a long time since I've ever seen it, since it was released in 1997. I didn't realize it was that old. It's alright. Baymax is just the cutest robot. He's so huggable like a giant balloon. I totally love it when he says ba a la la la. Doesn't that just cheer you up? It does, every time. Building a social bot from scratch is really exciting. This is a unique opportunity to build the social bot with the real users and with significant resources. Just thinking about the conversations that users had, it just opened up our mind into different ways of thinking of how to design it. Uh, a lot of the time when making projects, you kind of have to imagine how users will interact with it, whether they'll like it or not, and you're basically the only judge of that. This competition, you immediately see whether users like your content, how they engage with it, interact with it, and I really like that about it. Nice to talk to you again, Paul. It's you, right? Yes. I'm glad you're back. How is it going, Paul? I'm having a great afternoon, thanks. I'm happy for you, Paul. I just found out, today is July 29th, National Lasagna Day. Do you like lasagna? I do. So, you do. Awesome! Stock up for this day then. I read that initially, the word lasagna referred to the pot in which the dish was cooked rather than the food. 
Anyway, on this day, you can also celebrate National Lipstick Day. Did you know that even Cleopatra used lipstick? It was a shade of red made from crushed carmen beetles and ants. Tasty, huh? Sounds delicious. So, my stomach is telling me that it's lunchtime right now. What are you having for lunch today? It's going to be a surprise. I hope it is. I love surprises. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, I love cantaloupe. Oh, I love it too. Do you like it with or without whiskey? I haven't tried it with whiskey. Is it good? I've tried it. It's delicious with whiskey and rum. Food is one of life's great pleasures. Earlier you mentioned your hobby, television. So let's talk about TV. Have you watched any of Spaced? I did not watch Spaced. Spaced has been referred to as a sitcom. Do you know another sitcom show? Jerry Seinfeld was a show I liked. In the show Seinfeld, Jerry was always dating a new girl. But did you know how many different girls he dated over the whole nine seasons? No. He had 66 girlfriends. Good to know. You know, recently I've been listening to more music than before. Have you been listening to a lot of music lately? Yes, I listen to music all the time. What kind of music do you listen to? Do you have a favorite artist? Classical music. I like classical music too. Did you know Anthony Hopkins has composed four classical albums? I did not know that. He has released four classical albums. He is a great composer. That's very interesting. He was a child star, one of the most famous piano and violin players of his generation. By the age of 20. Continue. Oh boy, this is making me a bit sad. Let's clear up the air and talk about something else, something positive. I wanted to know, what is your spirit animal? Oh, my spirit animal is a unicorn. Hmm, I wonder if unicorns are real. I want to know more about your spirit animal. Yes, they definitely are real. Are they friendly or do they try to kill you? I believe AI can help us achieve better automation, which can positively change the society. I'm very positive. I'm very positive about the future, uh, not just of our team, but also of this technology and social bots. I believe that we are going into a place where machines and humans can collaborate and help each other and just push the frontier even further. First, for those of you who competed in this year's Alexa Prize, thank you. And I'm extremely proud of what the teams have achieved. Congratulations for your resilience and your perseverance. That's a phenomenal accomplishment that every team and every team member should be proud of. Every year, I feel we are making a ton of progress, but this will be a challenge that will take a long time to get done because we're still in day one in Conversation AI. For me, just the fact of participating was like a dream. Learning and competing with top teams in the world was a privilege for all of us it was very exciting to be able to meet the older teams, even if it is was online due to the pandemic. We also had a lot of fun together. The Alexa Prize competition is probably the most complete and the most important competition around the world. It is the only competition where our work is tested by such a large number of real users. This accelerates the research we conduct. I'd love to thank Amazon team for the Alexa Prize Challenge. The challenge is the best memory of these pandemic years for me. I wish you all the best and I hope to continue participating and meeting such admirable and promising people in the future.